What is it? Well, it's Hamburger Helper, that's what it is. One of the old school classics, one of my all time faves that yeah, I haven't had for probably about a good decade. Why, you ask? Well, for one, they don't sell it here in Korea. And for two, man, I'll tell you what, ground beef is ridiculously expensive over here. I found some ground beef, I had to go on a little, little journey, but I found some that was about, uh, I got this for about 10 bucks a pound. Places around here, they'd be selling it for like 20. 20 bucks for one pound, which is insane. But I got the classic uh, hamburger helper here, deluxe cheeseburger macaroni. The original one, one pan pasta, that's what I call it. My mom sent me this, so shout out moms, thank you. And um, oh, I love this. I used to, this brings, me, <laughs> this brings me back, the smell. You know, I haven't tasted it yet. I, was, I wanted to taste, to check if it was done. Haven't even taken a bite, man. I'm looking forward to this first bite here. I'm sure most people watching this know about Ham Help, and it probably ain't nothing special to most of y'all, but to me, it's a rare commodity, and oh, I, I'm so excited to get into this. If you don't know about it, it's basically like uh, instant mac and cheese, but uh, bigger macaroni pieces than the usual, and it's there's a whole pound of ground beef in there, so, I mean, that's next level already. Let me see if you can... That's that good oozy gooziness that I've been looking for. Now, uh, I have prepared a couple other little, I call them wild cards on the side. Um, but for now, let's just try this as it is. Get a good, good little heaping spoonful right there. Ah, that's probably too heaping. That's good. All right, going in. First bite of ham help in 10 years. That brings me right back, man. Oh, man. Y'all probably think I'm tripping. And I might be. But wow. That's the flavor. That's uh that's an old time flavor. I'm right back. Man, this is meaty. Cheesy, salty, macaroni y. Just what you're looking for. This is a hearty, uh, it's a home style meal right here. Mm. I used to split this. I remember back when I lived in. In Lewis Park, I had a couple roommates. I used to like split this with like two or two or three people. I don't know how I did that because I feel like one might not even be enough for me. Oh yeah, this is man, this is excellent. Ooh, mighty fine. Now let me show you what I've I've been uh, scheming. Written on the box and it says uh, if you want to boost up the flavor, you could throw some diced dill pickles on there. Never tried. I've never tried hamburger helper with anything else, like no sauces, no extra cheese, no nothing. So I figured I'd try that. I got me some diced up dills. Start with a little bit right there. I don't see how you can really go wrong with that. Uh, I mean, shit. I'd say that dill pickles will spice up any any good cheeseburger. So, oh, 
Oh. I've never had pickles with pasta. But I'm going in. Now, I also got me some ketchup. I've never tried this either. But I figured it might be good. So look at this bite right here. I don't know if you can see the ketchup or the cats up, I should say. But oh, this is a good bite with some ketchup and pickles. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, those pickles really kick it up. That ketchup. I can't really have myself a good cheeseburger without some mustard and some mayo. So I might be going off the rails. This might be completely off the chain, maybe even in a bad way, but I gotta try it with the, uh, let's get some more ketchup. Damn, I knew I should've. So this bite right here, I feel like my camera hasn't really been focusing this whole time, but uh, if it hasn't, I'm sorry. I've been in my zone, but uh, this bite right here has mayo, mustard, and ketchup, and some diced dill, and the ham help. Forget the ketchup, man. That mustard is on a whole nother level. And y'all you you might be thinking, oh man, you don't even let, you're just trying to mask the flavor. It ain't even that, because oh, I love the OG taste, but this is something new, man. I have one more box, my mom, my mom sent me two, so uh, don't worry about that. I'll probably have the next box just plain. But maybe, actually, maybe not though, like this. Damn. Actually, no, I'm definitely doing this again. I actually recommend this to anybody who out, who likes HH out there. Man. Maybe some diced onions too. We'll kick it up to the next, next, next level. This is top 10 right here, y'all. Speechless. That was to me amazing. If you look down on it, 
I'm not gonna judge you, but you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's what they say. To me, this is a treasure, a true treasure. I always want what you can't get. That's what they also said. I haven't been able to get my hands on this for 10 years. So, oh, man, that was mighty fine, man. Um, I guess it's time to skate out of here, though. So, there we have it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.